Hey, Coach Harlan here with IB4E Coaching. This is part two of a four video series on delegating like a boss. Now, last week, as you recall, hopefully you recall, we talked about doing a time audit, finding out exactly what tasks you do that make up your eight to 10 hour day or your 40 hour week. Once we know what those tasks are, it's a lot easier then to identify which tasks are important for you to do and which task can actually be delegated to somebody else. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this series is how to prioritize the work that you do. So I'll tell you exactly what I mean and show you the way that I prioritize stuff right after this, so stick with me. So it's time to prioritize the work. You should have your list in front of you if you worked it out last week. If not, go ahead and pause the video. Go through and list all of the tasks that you normally do, hands-on tasks in your business that make up the bulk of your day or your week. You may not get to the exact 40 hours or 50 hours, but we want to get as close as possible. Once you have that list of tasks, now we're going to prioritize. And any time I talk about prioritizing, I use the Eisenhower uh, decision matrix. You've probably seen this before. Eisenhower said that he got a lot accomplished because he focused on things that were important or urgent. Okay, Stephen Covey took this and kind of polished it up a little bit. What we want to look at is those tasks and ask yourself on each one of those tasks, is this important, meaning you have to do it? Is it urgent, meaning does it have to be done right now? If it is both important and urgent, that comes up in category one. Okay, those are things that are important and urgent, things that you need to do right now. You don't put them on your list, you just take care of them. You get them done, right? Next thing, the things that are important, meaning you have to do them, but they're not very urgent, okay? That's category two. You wanna schedule those things, put them out on your calendar, either later in the week or next week. They're important, so you have to do them, but they're not that urgent. They don't have to be done immediately. The next thing we're looking for are things that are urgent, but they're not very important. That's category three. Those are the things that you're gonna be delegating and we'll cover the delegation in the next video. Finally, category four, things that are not important and they're not urgent. You should not be doing these things at all, especially not during a business day. Things I'm talking about, Facebook. I mean, unless you're putting ads out for your business, but messing around on Facebook, messing around with email, um, unusual you know, calls and stuff like that, just anything random that doesn't really add to your business or help grow your business, that's category four. Stop doing those altogether. So now, if you look at your plate, um, remember your mom always said, clean your plate. That's what this exercise is gonna help you do. Category one, you should be doing those automatically. They should not make it onto your plate. They should just be done because they're very important and they're urgent. The category two items, they're on your plate, but you've scheduled those out later in the week or next week. Category three, you want to delegate those to your employees and, and category four, you want to just stop doing those all together. So that's a way to prioritize, okay? Next week, we're going to talk about actually taking these category three elements and delegating those to your employees. Very simple process. I'll show you how it's done. So if you have any questions about delegating or setting up the Eisenhower matrix like this, let's schedule a call. Give me 20 minutes and I'll walk you through the whole process. It's very simple. Just go out to my website, www.timewithcoach.com. Find a date and a time that works for you and schedule a 20 minute discovery chat. No obligation, no sales pitch, just you and me sitting down talking about what's going on. So that's it for this week. Next week, we're gonna talk about delegating. So until then, this is Coach Harlan saying so long for now.